Well, this is a story that will make everyone who loves animals sick, and believe me, it is tough to even tell this story. Police say someone tied three dogs to the tracks in Tremont and left them there to die. What is worse, the man responsible actually watched the dogs get hit by the train and took pictures. Only one dog survived. News Channel 5 reporter Shay Harris is following the story, and she has details. Shay, where is that puppy right now? Well, right now, she is in the Cuyahoga County Animal Shelter, where she's being taken care of by everyone there, literally. They love this dog. But I can tell you what, the community is also stepping up in a big way, and they're putting their money where their mouth is. She did what she needed to do to survive, so she's a real survivor, and she's a cutie. A cutie she is, but this mixed breed little one is smart. She survived a horrific ordeal Friday. She, for some reason, got between the railroad tracks and ducked down so she didn't get hit by the train. Police say a bridge monitor rescued her after she was tied to railroad tracks near University and Scranton Road, along with two other dogs by an unidentified man who left them to die. The other dogs died. When the train hit them, they're assuming that um, that the person was videotaping the train running over the dogs. That is beyond imagination. In 22 years of working at the Cuyahoga County Animal Shelter, Leslie DeSouza says she's never seen anything like this. It's a proven fact that people that do this to dogs usually graduate to human beings, and that's sad. That's very unfortunate. So it's a scary thing to have somebody out there doing this. When the Kotecki family, the owners of Kotecki Family Memorials, heard about this crime, they knew they had to do something. So they offered a $3,000 reward. People that, that are of that mentality do start with uh, teasing animals, eventually hurting them, killing them, and then they, they move on for a more dramatic target. The Kotekis say the community must get involved. It is very important for the community or somebody who's seen it to come forward and uh, put this to rest before it's even worse than an animal. Although the pooch isn't ready for adoption yet, Leslie says she deserves a good home. She's been through enough. She needs. Uh, she needs a yard and she needs uh, a nice family. She's very healthy, happy. We've uh, given her uh, her first rounds of meds and she's doing fine. Now, in addition to the Potecki's reward, PETA is also offering $5,000 for this man's arrest and conviction, as well as the uh, Humane Society stepped up and they're offering $2,500 as well. Now, from what I understand, um, they're hoping at the shelter that there's an owner out there who's missing a pet, and if so, they want you to call in because they want to get this dog home. But if there's no owner, they're saying they're having some very stringent rules put in place to make sure this dog ends up in a home where he's real, where she's really, really wanted. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5. Thank you very much for your report, Shay.